Sharma. Opposition parties in Bangladesh are accusing the government Awami League party of vote rigging and say they will reject the results of today's parliamentary election. Votes are still being counted but early results are showing Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina as heading for a landslide victory. She is hoping for a third consecutive term in opposition. Opposition uh, in office, even sorry. The opposition, meanwhile, says the level of intimidation and violence against its supporters has been unprecedented. With the latest from Dhaka, here's Yukita Lamai. An indoor basketball court was for the day turned into the women's section of a polling booth. People filed in, searched for their name on a list, and after they cast their vote, their fingers were marked with ink. Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has already been in power for 10 years, but she's confident she'll be back. I firmly believe that we'll win the election, she said. She's accused of cracking down on the opposition, which says it hasn't had a fair chance to contest. People are being killed, people are being arrested, candidates are being arrested, and one candidate is unprecedented. Unprecedented, unheard of, could not be dreamt of. These are workers from Prime Minister Hasina's Awami League standing outside a polling booth. And this is something we've seen across the city of Dhaka today. Behind me, all of the political posters you can see are also from the same party. In contrast, the presence of the opposition on the streets is really hard to find, leading to serious questions about whether this election has been fair. That left people split on whether they wanted to participate. The process was okay. I was a bit worried that my vote might have been stolen, but I didn't get to vote. I thought that this election won't be a fair election. All the parties did not get equal opportunities to campaign. That is why I did not cast my vote. In one part of Bangladesh, the BBC saw ballot boxes which had been filled even before polling began. Despite heavy security presence, there was violence in some parts of the country. The Prime Minister's party is credited with bringing development to Bangladesh and clamping down on Islamist militancy. But her critics say none of that can be at the cost of democracy. Yogita Ramai, BBC News, Dhaka. Well, we can cross live to Dhaka and speak to the editor of the BBC's Bengali service, Sabir Mustafa. Uh, Sabir, we've been speaking for the last few hours and results have been coming through. Just update us on what the situation there is now. Well, the day of drama and quite a bit of violence ended with the opposition alliance absolutely categorically rejecting the election results in their entirety and calling for new elections under a neutral government and as soon as possible. But it seems that the opposition haven't really thought this through because they could not explain how they want to or how they, manage, how they would manage to uh, convince or pressure the government into doing such a thing, i.e. cancelling the results and going for new elections. The ruling party, Awami League leaders, on the other hand, have dismissed this rejection by the opposition, saying that uh, elections have taken place, the results will stand, and the opposition can reject it for as much as they like, nothing will happen. Now, the, all these rejection and counter uh, you know, dismissals have come because two things. One is that opposition alleged that the uh, elections were rigged from beginning to end and there were evidence of a lot of irregularities at various uh, polling stations, including stuffing of ballot boxes overnight, which uh, you know, was quite evident uh, during the day. But at the same time, there's, there's a lot of violence in, in around the country in which 15 people died and the ruling party is saying that 10 of those dead were actually their men killed by the opposition. So they're also saying that they are a victim of violence uh, by the opposition rather than the perpetrators. So the two sides are very much, you know, kind of locked horns. And we'll have to wait and see what happens in the next uh, days and weeks and perhaps months ahead to see how Bangladesh can wriggle out of this uh, jam at the moment. Yeah, indeed. Um, I, I I suppose everybody will want to know what the true state of affairs is with these allegations of vote rigging and an unprecedented margin in favour of the Prime Minister, particularly in the capital there. So how can we know for sure what is real? Well, you know, when you're talking about un, you know, you know, unbelievable margin, for, for a start, now we see that uh, the ruling party has won something like 150 seats already and the opposition alliance maybe three seats. But that's not the whole story. Each constituency, the difference of votes between the ruling party and the opposition are so massive that most people will not even believe that that could be the case because no matter how popular Sheikh Hasina, the prime minister is, and she is popular, no doubt about that, or how
how unpopular the BNP is, the difference between the two parties can never be this great. So there's a great deal of distrust among the public when they see such differences in the votes. And there is, as I said, ample evidence that uh, a lot of irregularities happen during the vote. So those things are not going to go away. And the government will have to, or rather the election commission, which is supposed to be accountable for how the election is conducted, they have to investigate these allegations and they have to come up with some answers. Um, just before I let you go, uh, Sabir, what time do we think we'll get some kind of an official statement from the government about this? Well, I think tomorrow is the day, because the opposition will make their, you know, a kind of formal statement tomorrow, and we expect that the Prime Minister will hold their press conference tomorrow and uh, set her store out. But more importantly, what, you know, what the Election Commission might do, we'll have to wait uh, till tomorrow to find that out as well. And I know you'll be 